colleagues, the Prime Minister. Um, Tasmania's economy is in, in very sound shape, um, certainly a lot stronger than it was um, coincidentally a thousand days ago uh, when we came into government. Um, but I welcome the opportunity to work um, at a national level to reduce impediments to productivity, greater efficiency and greater economic outcomes and to work with um, our colleagues to ensure that we maintain the strong growth in Tasmania's economy, um, the sorts of initiatives that we have implemented in our state, uh, I think can be enhanced through this new national framework. Um, I'm also pleased that we're able to progress important investments into supporting vulnerable Tasmanians, notably the NDIS, uh, which we've um, supported in its implementation, not without its challenges. We are strongly supporting Tasmanians who will benefit from that program and also uh, progressing important reforms in family violence remain a critical priority for all governments, um, not the least mine. I also welcome the opportunity to push Tasmania's case and indeed emphasise our place in uh, Australia's energy future. I think it's an exciting prospect for uh, the next generation of the national electricity market that Tasmania can uh, stamp itself as the renewable state. 90% of Tasmania's energy is renewable. Um, we uh, want to be the renewable battery for our nation. Um, and in that context, the, the concept of investment, national investment in important critical infrastructure in our energy market, most notably uh, a second interconnector across Bass Strait, is something that I've been really keen to progress today and to make the case uh, for. We can supply the NEM, we can as I say, be the renewable uh, battery for the nation um, and so prosecuting a case for this critical national infrastructure uh, was something that I was very keen to do today.